Hey, welcome to Taste Test. I'm Sean O'Neill. This is Mara Eakin. This is Josh Modell. I think today we're gonna try to determine uh, which beer rocks the most, because we have two different rock and roll themed beers and one Game of Thrones themed beer. I was gonna say, or is the most metal, but then... But, Ga but then Guided, Guided by, by Voices, Voices is isn't not, metal. Yeah. So thanks for, for ruining that, Josh. Sorry. Today we also have a, a, a miniature Tyrion Lannister, courtesy of the HBO Corporation. <laughs> um, I don't know what he's doing here. We got the Omegon Game of Thrones Valar Morghulis Double Ale. 8% alcohol by volume. Mm, pretty cool. <laughs> All right, do you want to read off the Iron Maiden Trooper Ale? It's called Trooper. <clears throat> it's from a British brewery called Robinson's, and um, it's 4.7%. Oh, that's kind of weak. All right, so already Great. Game of Thrones is kind of winning. Okay. <laughs> um, got to my voices. Indie band known for really drinking really hard. This is 10%, and because it's it's called Beer Thousand, named after their classic record, B Thousand. Uh, and it's, it's from called Dogfish that. Head. Oh, yeah, sorry, Dogfish Head. Um, and it's called Beer Thousand because it has 10 grains, 10 hop varieties, and clocks in at 10% alcohol by volume. Should we try the lowest alcohol first? Oh, uh, sure. Sure. Is that okay, I don't know, the Iron Maiden, surprisingly. Okay. I just want a little a little tiny, I don't really drink much beer, so I'm gonna be a terrible I'll judge. Somewhere in the middle. Do you want me to get some rum chata to make it? <laughs> if you could. I wonder, wait a minute, I guess. What band would, should represent rum chata? You should probably puzzle that. I don't think it's true. Uh, Vampire Weekend. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Fucking perfect. I'll drink that. That tastes like beer. I mean, it's kind of, it's definitely like an ale. Yeah, it's very hoppy. As a non-beer guy, it tastes too much like beer <laughs> to me. I like those beers that taste like other things. There you go. Thanks. Well, I kind of like that one. Do you? No. Um, it's not as like uh, intense, even though its color was darker, the flavor was not. Yeah. Uh, not as. It's like a hefty bottle. That's it really could do delicious. some damage. You like it too? Yeah, uh, that's very good. I like double ales. Does that just mean they taste ale? This is the eight point. Put it in there twice, or it's just the way. It's just a type of brewing. I don't think it's like. I don't think you actually double. It's not D O U B L E. It's D U B L E. It's like double. Double. I think it's a style of brewing. Now we just look like idiots. Got it by voices. Beer, which I believe is in stores now. Very limited edition. Let me tell this story while we're talking. I promoted a Guided by Voices show once a long time ago in Milwaukee, and um, they had, I think, 10 cases of beer on their rider, and I think they loaded in at like two o'clock or something, and by five o'clock, I shit you not, they were like, can you get us more beer? And they were falling down, and they played a great show. Those dudes are, I'm like worried for them. Like if Robert Pollard died, we'd be like, oh, like it was probably his liver. That one's a little fruity for me. Oh, it is. It's kind of, it's like you can taste the alcohol a little more. So if I had to name one that I think rocks the most, I would I would give it to Game of Thrones, the nerd beer. Just I think I would drink the B1000 more than I would drink this. The only one I really liked was the, uh, the Game of Thrones one. But if I could only have one piece of pop culture, Game of Thrones or Guided by Voices B1000. Oh, wow. I probably, I probably would take B thousand. I think I would just, take Iron Maiden over Guided by Voices. You take the entire Iron Maiden catalog. Yeah. Over the guy I would. Over all of Guided by Voices catalog. Yeah. I would not do I'm that. I'm not like a huge fan. What about over Game of Thrones? I take Game of Thrones. Uh, okay, so, so it's Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones versus Guided by Voices entire existence or just B thousand? Um, Only. Which, whichever one is a more <laughs> difficult decision. Well, if it's just B thousand, I've already got Alien Lanes I can listen to. I mean, I've got. What? I, it's a great record, but it's not, I mean, the, you're talking about their second or third best record. You're, ki you're kicking the top one. But it still there. exists, and they still have 35 fucking other albums to put out. Okay, so what if it's all Guided by Voices versus Game of Thrones? I would, pick, I would pick Guided by Voices over Game of Thrones. Sorry. Sorry. All Karen. right. But hey, sorry HBO. It's goddamn America. We don't have to choose, and we can drink beer about it. That's right. Cheers. Right, Cheers to that. Beer in here. 